Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our RPG scroller series. Finally, after almost a year, we're going to keep working on our game. But before we go on in our game, I want to fix some things. So I was having a look in the project, which you can download from the link in the description. And I found some things that I want to improve before we actually continue adding new things to our game. And in this episode, what I want to work on specifically is our input manager. Right now, our input manager uses events to call actions or functions in different scripts. And it's not actually handling the raycast from when we click. So for that, we're going to use inheritance. We're going to make a I clickable interface and if you want to learn more about interface please go and click on that video on the top right corner I just made a video explaining how to use interface and how to make an I clickable interface which is going to be very handy if I go and play now the game you will realize that we have few problems related to input so well not many but for example right now if I click on this NPC actually I'm not getting the input, I'm not getting the click from the input manager. And the other thing is that when we click on the UI, you see that our character uses its sword, but it actually should not do anything if we click on our inventory. And also we have a no reference exception when we're not clicking on a item from the inventory. But right now we're going to go and work on our input manager. And by the way, it's quite dark so let's open the lighting settings and let me generate the lighting meanwhile okay so <laughs> it's been so long since I worked on this game it feels weird um, so what I want to do I want to make the input manager to handle all the input related stuff so here in the update we have a input get mouse button up right so whenever we get the um, mouse button up we called the on press up. I also want to do a raycast. Right now, when we click on our NPC, actually, it's the player script that is calling that raycast. So we're going to go to player controller, and here on the get input, you see that we have this raycast here it checks if there is an npc and we call the on click of that npc so first of all we want to move this from here copy this i'm gonna cut it x control x and place it back on my input controller where's my input controller here input manager so we're going to place it down here inside the get mouse button up check if this it still works because we have the input manager on our scene so we just move that function from the player into the input manager so yeah it still works I want to be able to click other things for example uh, I want to click this door or I want to click I don't know on, on an item or something for that we're going to use an interface so let's go to assets my scripts I'm gonna create a new folder called interfaces I forgot an S there interfaces and I'm going to create a new interface called I clickable and sorry if my keyboard is too loud is next to my microphone and there's no other place for me to put my microphone so I clickable is going to be a public interface we don't need to inherit mono behavior and we don't need to use any of those and we don't need any of this either. So here we have our I clickable and we want to make a void on click. We can call it on left click. So our interface have this function and we want to make the NPC clickable. So where is the NPC controller? Let's find the NPC controller, NPC controller and here next to mono behavior we also want to extend or inherit the i clickable interface so this i clickable is going to force us to inherit the function called public void on 
using left click. So this function here can be called for anything from anything that is calling the I clickable. You will see how in a minute. We're going to move the show quest info into this on left click and we're gonna remove this. So if I remove that, I'm probably going to get an error because my input manager, let me close some of the scripts that I'm not using. The input manager is trying to call MPC controller dot on click, but that function doesn't exist anymore. So we have a function in our MPC controller called on left click. But then the problem is what happens if there is other things that we can click, it might not be an MPC controller. So in that case, we will do something like else if, and then the next case, and then else if this, the third case. But what happens if we have like a thousand clickable classes, we will have to type a lot of cases and we don't want that. So instead of getting NPC controller, we're going to get I clickable and I'm going to call this clickable and then I'm going to replace it here. And there you go. Oh, and here I need to get the component I clickable. And then NPC controller has that function there so we can try it. And now we should be calling this here. So mom is everywhere. And then if we want to make the enemy clickable as well, let's open the enemy class, enemy class, enemy controller. We just need to do the same. I just add I clickable here and then I need to define a on click function. So public void on left click and then I would just debug dot lock you clicked on name and then you see I didn't have to do anything in input manager because this is already set I just need to add the interface to my enemy controller and now if I click on any mummy let's click on a mummy you see you click on mummy on mummy 4 and then if I go to another mummy you clicked on mummy 5 and then every mummy can be clicked so we can define our own behavior when you click on enemies so this is the first part that we want to change about our input manager okay now the second thing we want to fix is that right now our player will always attack even if we click on an NPC or if we press our inventory because it doesn't know what input manager is doing it has its own input control so when we do this the player always says okay I I received this input so I should attack but now we're going to let input manager tell the player when to attack so instead of having this here we're going to uh, we already have an instance of this player. We called it main, so player.main. So here in input.manager, we are going to check before if we're clicking on anything. Okay, so here in the input manager, we are already checking for any I clickable. So the idea is that if we click on something that is clickable, we are not going to attack. And if we click on nothing, so if we click on the background or we click in something that is not clickable, we're going to make the player attack. So player, player dot main dot, and why I can't get that? Um, oh, because it's called player controller. Player controller dot main dot, and then attack is not a public function, so we have to make that a public function attack uh, so f12 to go to the definition and we make it public and back to input manager attack and now we remove that from the player controller because we don't want him to attack on its own we want input manager to tell him where to, when to attack so i'm going to remove the attack function from there so now if i click on on an empty space like on the background or whatever our character attacks but if I press on the NPC our player does not attack because it was blocked we went inside here and then we returned 
so we never reach this part it's like saying else here so if we have something that is clickable we do this else we do that and i'm not going to return because maybe i want to do something no matter what after that okay how about if we press on the inventory or the ui our character is still attacking all right so our ui elements do not have the clickable, the iClickable interface. So we're not going to run this part of the code and then it's going to go and tell the player to attack. So what we want to do is first of all, we're going up here and using unity engine dot event systems. And I have made a function that can check if we are pressing on a UI element or not here. So you can find this function online anywhere. Is pointer over UI object. So pointer event data, get the current position. We get the position from the mouse. And then we have a list of raycast results. And if that list of raycast results is empty, we are going to return false. But if its count is bigger than zero, that means we have clicked on top of some UI elements. So then we return true. So up here, we're going to check, check if we are clicking on UI if, and our function is called is pointer over UI object, is pointer over UI object. So if we're clicking over the UI, we're going to do whatever the UI has to do. Then else, if uh, clickable, clickable, we have to tidy this up a little bit. If there, if hit component clickable is not null, then down here, we place this I clickable is equals to that so first we're going to check if the click uh, click over UI then the next thing is to check if we hit something that is clickable and if either of those two we're going to call player controller domain attack so let's try it now so now we can press on our UI and nothing happens we can press on our NPC and we still don't attack and we can press here and we attack ah, and I, we can click on the mummies and they also have their on click function so that's a better version of our input manager We're going to keep improving our code but that's it for this episode i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to give it a like share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel I'm coming back with more videos this week. I'm going to be uploading as well. So please keep checking your notification box for when I upload more videos. And I want to thank you all for your support. I read the comments. Guys, it meant a lot to me. I'm really sorry that I was gone for such a long time. But hey, things happen in life and we decide if we want to move forward or not. So I'm back again. Hopefully this time for real. I hope you guys will keep watching my videos and commenting and talking to me. I am really happy to be making these videos again. So thank you again and I will see you all on the next one. Adios.